Hey, hey, Wild West Adventures. We're coming to you from the Holy Hope Cemetery in Tucson, Arizona, looking for the grave of the lesser known lawman at the OK Corral. Johnny Bahan was born in what is now Kansas City, Missouri, on October 23, 1844. He was the oldest son of an Irish-born carpenter and his wife, and he followed the gold rush to California and then eventually moved to the Arizona Territory in 1863 when he settled in the territorial capital of Prescott. There he became acquainted with a man by the name of John Bork, who managed a saloon and was also the Yavapai County Sheriff. Now Bork had married a woman who had had four children from previous marriages. One of these children was an 11 year old girl named Victoria, who had a schoolgirl crush on the 20 year old Bayhan. Bork was the Yavapai County Sheriff, and as Sheriff, he appointed young Bayhan as his undersheriff. Bayhan became a popular fixture around Prescott. All that was left was for him to find a suitable bride. In March of 1869, he found that bride when he married his boss's stepdaughter, then 15-year-old Victoria. Three months later, their daughter, Henrietta, was born. I'll let you do the math on that one. Over the next few years, the Bayhan family enjoyed prosperity in Prescott. In June of 1871, Victoria gave birth to a second child, Albert. In 1875, however, Victoria filed for divorce, claiming that she had walked in on numerous occasions finding Bayhan in bed with other women, particularly women who worked the red light district on Whiskey Row. Sadly, in March of 1877, the young family had to reconvene to bury their young daughter, Henrietta, who had succumbed from scarlet fever. Their son, Albert, had also been afflicted with the disease. He was left partially deaf. In 1879, Johnny opened a saloon in Tip Top, Arizona. At some point during this time, he met a young actress by the name of Josephine Sarah Marcus. She accompanied him to Tombstone in September of 1880. In April 1881, Bayhan was appointed as Under Sheriff of Pima County, replacing Wyatt Earp. Later that year, the southeastern portion of Pima County was sectioned off to become the new Cochise County and Bayhan was appointed sheriff of the new Cochise County. As the new sheriff of Cochise County, Bayhan appointed a man named Harry Woods as his undersheriff, a move that would anger another man who had been promised this position. That man's name was Wyatt Earp. Newcomers, eh? Name's John Behan, Cochise County Sheriff. Just sit down, did you? Just this minute, I'm Wyatt Earp, and these are my brothers, Wyatt Earp. and Morgan. Meanwhile, Josie Marcus had walked in on Bayhan again in bed with another woman, and she had turned her sights to Wyatt Earp. The distrust between Earp and Bayhan came to a head on October 26, 1881, when the Earps, who had been threatened, by a group of cowboys led by Curly Bill Brocious, Ike Clanton, and Johnny Ringo, attempted to disarm the cowboys in a vacant alley behind the OK Corral. On the way down to this fateful encounter, Johnny Bayhan approached them and told them he had already disarmed the cowboys. They continued on and found that the cowboys had not been disarmed. In fact, they were all carrying weapons. get ourselves into this. 
You don't have to worry about a thing. I just went over there and disarmed. You did? Go on, go over it. Gentlemen, I'm not going to allow any trouble. Now, hold on here. Don't go down there. There'll be trouble. Just going to take away their guns. No, no, there's no need for that. I've disarmed them. And there won't be any trouble, Johnny. What happened next is the stuff of legend. Bayhan was voted out of office in September 1882, 11 months after the gunfight, which made him a household name, and he would never work in law enforcement again, though he did go on to serve as deputy warden of the Yuma Territorial Prison from 1888 to 1890. In 1891, he moved east and worked in various capacities until he finally returned to Arizona in 1901. He died in Tucson on June 7, 1912, of Bright's disease. The Holy Hope Cemetery is one of two cemeteries currently in operation in Tucson. After the Court Street Cemetery closed down, the Catholic graves were moved to here, the Holy Hope Cemetery. That did not include the grave of John Bayhan, however, who passed away in 1912 and was originally interred here at the Holy Hope Cemetery. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to receive notifications. Onward to the next one!